Welcome back. In the last video we talked about different ways we can make ethanol, such as using a catalyst such as sulfuric acid to make ethanol. In this video we're going to cover a, a different way to make ethanol. And this is the main way that the industry makes ethanol itself from sugarcane. So I'll actually read the dot point. It says, process information from secondary sources to summarize the processes involved in the industrial production of ethanol from sugarcane. There's a couple of different words we need to know. Um, the industrial production refers to how the industry, so how the industry makes ethanol and how the industry makes ethanol from sugarcane. And sugarcane was a crop, so that's something we plant, a plant that we plant, sugarcane. So, and we need to summarize. So summarize means give a brief detailed outline of how that happens. Um, so here we have the first step, which is we need to actually be able to get our sugar cane. And we generally can get our sugar cane by harvesting it, which means we need some land. We plant some seeds and we get some sugar cane. Our next step is something called crushing. So we just crush it. So we have this sugar cane, which is a plant, and we crush it into small pieces. And we get two different products. We get sucrose juice. This is a liquid. And we get this bagace, which is a waste product. This is a waste. We don't really need it, but we get it from the production of sugarcane. And this we can use to make heat. We can burn it. And that can be used in other things. But this generally is a waste product. But the main reason why we crush sugarcane is to make this here, sucrose juice. Our next step is the extraction of sucrose. And what I mean by that is here we might have this being 20-30% sucrose, but if we extract it, that means we're getting all the sucrose from it and having mostly sucrose. So mostly sucrose, not much water itself. So here we have juice. Juice refers to usually like a mixture between water and sucrose. But now we have sucrose molase, and that's something syrupy. So you can imagine that to be syrupy, and it's quite thick. So this is mostly sucrose now. So after extracting only sucrose from our juice, we have only sucrose left, and that's called a sucrose molase. What we do next is we add some acid. And what this acid does, this acid kills bacteria. And the bacteria itself might ruin the ethanol because it might turn it into yeast. So we're going to make sure we kill it. And we do that by adding acid. And then if we deliver it from there to the fermentation chamber. So that's basically just a place where we can, like a locked place. And it's supposed to be like a chamber thing. And we have all of our sucrose inside. This purple thing is meant to be a sucrose. And here we can ferment it. So ferment it means we um, put a yeast into it, right? But it's just locked, so nothing leaves except for maybe carbon dioxide. Then we add a yeast. So here we have an we add a yeast. And remember the yeast helps the breakdown of sugar. So it helps break down sugar. And it does so by producing an enzyme which can break that, that, that sugar into ethanol. Now the specific name for this yeast in this sugar cane production is Saccharamoixaxevivacea. I'm really sorry if that's a pretty bad pronunciation, but I have no idea how to actually pronounce that. But yeah, this is the one. So this one is used, this is a certain type of yeast and it's used to ferment sucrose into ethanol. Now, after we've left it, this usually takes some time, so this may, might take two days. So it might be in that chamber for two days. And by the end, we have ethanol, but it's 10 to 14% ethanol. So the rest of the, so it's 10 to 14% ethanol, and the rest would be water. So now we have about 86 to 90% water. So majority is water and the rest is ethanol. 
Now what happens next is we go through distillation. Distillation helps us to purify. So distillation is to purify. And what I mean by that is it helps us to remove that water. Now after distillation, we go from 10 to 14% ethanol to 97% ethanol, which means we only have about 3% water left. So we've removed most of the water. But to go from 97 to 100% ethanol, we still have to do some more water removal to get that rid of that last 3%. And we do that through dehydration. So dehydration makes that 100% ethanol. So I'll quickly summarize the main parts that you need to know when it comes to this kind of diagram. You should know that we have to harvest and crush sugarcane. We also need to be able to ferment the sucrose that we get from making that sugarcane. That was also important. Then we usually do some distillation. So the third step was distillation. And the reason why we do distillation is to remove that extra water. We go from 10 to 40% ethanol to 97% ethanol. And then sometimes if we want to get 100%, we also dehydrate to get rid of that extra couple percent of water to make it 100% ethanol. So these four main steps is um, the summarized version of the production of sugar cane. But yeah, it'd be good if you kind of have an idea of what this kind of diagram means and the individual steps required. I hope that was useful.